Hello all, my name is Alan Hawks. I'm 54 years of age and I'm married. My wife, Suzanne, I got two boys, Reese, who's 15, and Jack, the oldest, is 19. I just thought I'd tell you a little bit about myself, about living with MS and how, how it happened and what I've done and how it's helped me to get through all these years. Um, basically, 2012, I was diagnosed and I thought the world had collapsed. It was awful. Um, but I was with a good family behind me, it kept me going. And my, one of my first worries was <clears throat> with work, uh, with the mortgage and everything. And I went to uh, my boss, Mark, and told him what had happened. He was devastated, as we were quite close. The first thing he said, reassured me was, everything will be fine. We can sort something out. That um, just after my diagnosis in 2012, my my boss, Mark, uh, came with me to a consultation with a doctor, uh, sat down with me, and he wanted to find out from the doctor himself how work could improve things and change things to make life easier for me. Uh, to me, it was a wonderful gesture by Mark, my, my, my boss, and he took a lot from it. Fine, we can sort something out. And he done everything in his power to keep me going. Um, I'd been there, oh, I'd been there nine, ten, nine years before I was diagnosed and didn't have a day on the sick at all in nine years. So we had a good relationship going with Natural Resources Wales and IW. And it was a real tough time because during at that time with work, I was enjoying my work on tractors, the plant excavators, dumpers, and really enjoying it with a good team of boys doing work on the rivers and good productive work. And all of a sudden it come to an end because I, I went so ill, I was struggling to get up into the cab and get off it again. So from an health and safety point of view, I had to stop the work I left and really enjoyed. Uh, but after the chat with Mark, we um, got, got through various aspects of how we could move forward and, and keep going. And one was uh, plant the machinery is a big love of mine. Um, after me around them all my life. So we, he put me in a job then supervising a team of 11 working around plant and machinery all day. So I'm still around the plant and machinery, not driving them what I'd like to do, but hey, yo, I'm still working and I'm still in a job and still earning money and keeping the old um, memory and brain going. But uh, it, you know, it's, it's a real rewarding job I'm doing, helping people uh, you know, reduce the, the flood, flooding effect of uh, people living by the rivers and that. Um, Oh, I was trying to think now, what else I can uh, uh, NRW, at the time, as I bent over backwards to help me, I, I went to Mark uh, with a problem because I was struggling to drive my little van about. My left leg was very uh, weak and I was struggling with a clutch. So, so much so, it was, I was a danger, basically, on the road. So... I went with him with a problem, but I also had a solution for it, which was an automatic van. And they bought me an automatic van, um, which made a huge difference to my work pattern. I can drive on one leg from wherever I go, the left leg just sits there now and enjoying having a rest. But uh, doctor's appointments, hospital, uh, all the things I need to go, just time off. Uh, they've been really, 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 really good to me. And uh, the boys in work on site, I work on site, rough ground. I fall over quite often, but we didn't, boys and me just laugh it off. They know, they know how, well, what, what the problem is. They know everything about me. Um, and it's just a pleasure to be in a, a good team. I go for treatment once every six months on ocrelizumab. I was on a trial for three years with Oculizumab, one of the guinea pigs in Britain. And I finished the trial last year, so I've been on it now on the NHS now. And 
is really keeping me <clears throat> going, keeping me working full time, keeping my family life going as much as I can. And uh, it, it's really working for me. Um, what, things I used to do, I can't do now. I used to play golf. I won a bad golf five years ago, but I can't play golf. I understand that. I only walk so far, um, but I'm still doing almost all of what I was doing before. Uh, when uh, Radio Wales were, I listen to Radio Wales regular, and back about, oh, I don't know, five, six years ago, I'm all plus of time, but five, six years ago, say, uh, Jason Mohammed was having a uh, debate on the radio and he was going along a metal van, and it was about a treatment of a lady back years ago in Carmarthen, and I listened to it, and it went on about people who ring in saying about how with a light disability they got, they were victimized by their employers, which I was incensed by that because uh, I had been, I was one of the lucky ones who had been really, really good by my employers. So I rang the show and got live on air and um, we got talking and put my point across with Jason Mohammed on Radio Wales and I told him what what they'd done for me and how they looked after me and done everything they could to keep me in work which then the MS Society going to touch with me after that uh, which led on to uh, Natural Resources Wales then go in, well, putting up for an award for best employer Britain up to London up to the big city never been before up, me and my boss went and NRW won it in an amazing, amazing day. Uh, met a lot of people, <clears throat> made some more contacts, um, and a really, really good day. And <clears throat> proud to be part of that. But I say my little story is only is more, more to it. Than that. It's a lot, you know, a short, shortened version now. But oh god, god. but uh, I can't keep this thing up now. But life goes on. Make the best of what you can, but I am lucky to have a good employer doing me. And I went 